internet and YouTube and welcome back to The Sims 2 Pleasant View Blue Water Village playthrough thing with me, Tiana. We are back today with the Ramirez household. It's been a while since we saw this lovely, lovely family. And in the last episode, we ended off with these two trying to get pregnant and they were having a bit of trouble. And I had to remember to have them try for a baby again first thing in the morning. So. We're going to do that. We're going to jump in. They're going to have some lovely morning woohoo. They're going to see if they can get pregnant. Uh, because I'd really like these guys to have another child. I think it would be lovely. Little Tessa is going to be aging up into a teenager today. It is her birthday today, which is very, very exciting. She wants to age up well and she wants to get an A-plus report card. I'm pretty sure, yep, she is in an A-plus grade already. So that shouldn't really be a big issue for... Oh, hello, Lisa. Um, for Tessa at all. She should be able to come home with that A-plus today and then we'll throw her a big birthday party this afternoon. Unfortunately, it's Monday, which means that Chico will probably not be here for the birthday uh, because he will be working really hard at the furniture store, as he always does. And I'm really, really excited to show you guys this. I've actually done a little bit of a makeover of the Blue Water Village Main Street. I haven't touched uh, his business or the electronic super center but I would like to renovate both of those lots as well but basically I've renovated it to make look a lot more like an old-fashioned kind of high street I imagine this town is like Blue Water Village in my mind is quite old it's quite like the high street I wanted to be really built up kind of like townhouse vibe like wall-to-wall -wall buildings and really look like a little village main street so that's kind of the look that I've gone for and I'm really excited to show you guys because I think it looks fantastic. And yeah, okay. Listen for the baby jingle. Nope, no baby. Oh, yes, baby. I spoke too soon. Yay. Okay, so Tessa, sorry, Lisa and Chico are going to be having another Bambino, which is super duper exciting. Okay, y'all need to get out of bed because... Okay, well, you're not going to have time to do anything before you go to work. <laughs> She's got to leave for work right now, and Chico's got to leave for work in a minute here as well. And then little Tessa is going off to school. It's really hard to remember, like, Tessa's name versus Lisa's name, I find. Oh, my God, can you two get out of bed? I know it's... This is like me in the morning. Oh, my God, funny story this morning, guys. I had, um... I had this guy rock up to check out my smoke alarm. It's like a registered like smoke alarm inspection kind of deal. We have to have it done legally or our landlord has to get it done legally or something. I don't really know, but I totally forgot he was coming and he was like booked in to come at 8 a.m. So, of course, I was still in bed. <laughs> um, luckily, I was awake. I was awake. And then I hear this like little knock knock at the door and I'm like, oh, crap. You know, like, oh, no, there's a man out here out the front of my house and I'm in my pajamas. This is fine. Quickly threw on pants, went, run to the front door. I'm like, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. I was asleep. And he just laughed. He thought it was really funny. And then we made friends and he left me a spare battery for my smoke alarm, which is really nice. Because there's nothing worse than your smoke alarm battery running out, is there? Yeah, no, there's not. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, just another instance of my supreme dagginess striking me again. Anyway, guys, I'll see you down at the furniture store. Okay, so here we are at the furniture store and apparently we've got bugs. So that's that's not really great. We don't want to stomp on them, Chico. We want to spray them because spraying is more effective. Anyway, check this out. But yeah, so this is the new uh, main street of Blue Water Village. You can't see it too well, but basically there are a lot of like wall-to-wall -wall buildings. There's a lot of cars uh, parked down the, down the street as well. Some of these buildings are hood deco. And some of these buildings are actual lots. And I think it looks super duper nice. What are you doing? Spray the bugs, my darling. Spray the bugs. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yeah, the ones that are clearer are actually the hood deco buildings. And then the ones that are all blurry are the actual lots. But basically, it's going to be really cool when we have Sims uh, buying new businesses from now on. They're going to be buying uh, buildings like this one. Uh, you can see here it's right, it's right next to this. Oh. There you can see more looking this way. <laughs> yeah, so you could see like it's right next to these hood deco buildings and they basically look seamless and it looks really, really fun. Some of them, uh, the walls are kind of clipping through a little bit, but you, you just kind of just have to deal with that. Um, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really great. So yeah, really happy with how that looks. And then you can see I've just gone ahead and put in some hedging, some little um, 
decorative like cars and, and things like that. This is one of the lots down here. And then, yeah, um, I just wanted it to feel like a more immersive sort of town environment, basically. And I'm really happy with how it's gone. We need to help this guy. Okay, time to actually pay attention to what's going on in the business. <laughs> okay, so who do we have here again? I forget. We have Chester, he's our checkout guy. We have Archie doing restocking. And then I assume we just do sales ourselves. That's really good. We're currently business rank eight. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Good for us. That's right. And I set up this like little dining room thing. Oh, that looks super cute. Yeah, I like that. I want to set up more like room... Uh environments for people to peruse okay let's oops, no 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 dazzling dazzling is more than we need to do let's just do basic sales everywhere but anyway i'm gonna play through this business day probably mostly off camera because you guys have seen open for business basically we just run around making sure we're selling stuff to people and i might actually check in with you guys when we get back home uh because i just feel like it would be more interesting for you guys to see that Okay, so the business is just closed for the day. So we're just waiting now for Chester here to re uh, ch to check everybody out, basically. We're going to send, uh, what's his face, home. Archie, he doesn't need to be here anymore. We're, we've got the restocking, no worries, buddy. I sent him on a break and he was just playing chess and he never actually got back to work. So <laughs> whatever, he can just go home. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to see how we do for the business overall today. I'm actually worried that we're not going to have a positive. Oh, no, there we go. This lady apparently bought a lot of expensive stuff. Yeah, I'm concerned that we're not going to have a positive cash flow, but we'll have to see how we go. <laughs> it would be the first day we haven't had a positive cash flow in quite a while. Maybe I should have done more selling and not just let the business run itself all day. Let's just double speed this bad boy. Oh no! Oh, Christy. You don't have to be so impatient. Jeez. Oh, and there's also one over here. I wonder why there's one there. Okay, Chester, you can go home, my darling. Are you leaving now? Yep good okay so yeah okay so apparently someone who bought a lot of stuff threw their bags on the ground outside I don't know right but we had a pretty pretty positive day today we made 2176 simoleons I mean I don't know personally I would be pretty happy with making that amount of money from a business in a single day so I'm just gonna go ahead and call that a really successful day and uh yeah happy with that Oh my gosh, guys, we have a bit of a situation here and I've only just realized, but basically um, Chico's going to be out until 6.30 p.m. and Lisa is going to be out until 6 p.m. So Tessa's currently home by herself and also that means that neither of her parents are going to be here at 6 p.m. when she actually ages up. Oh my god, I feel so bad. Tessa! And it's not a good idea to leave her home alone without supervision, which I'm aware of. So we actually need to get ourselves a nanny over here, like, stat. Like, stat, stat. Let's, uh, call service. <laughs> Excuse me, um, my parents just abandoned me for the afternoon and I need supervision. So can you please come over, like, right now? Thanks. My parents don't love me. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, one of Tinker's no longer a family friend. That's a bit sad. Uh, no. Okay, do we have friends? Ada Richardson is almost our friend. Maybe we should invite Ada over. And then at least we can have one friend here with us when we age up. <laughs> Poor Tessa, I feel so bad. Nobody, like, I can't believe neither of her parents are going to be here to celebrate our birthday with us. Wow, mum and dad. Wow. That is really rude. Okay, Karen is here, which is good news. At least she's not going to get taken away by the social worker. Jesus. <laughs> okay, and she also really wants to get a puppy or a kitten. I'm actually going to lock the want to get a puppy, and then maybe for her birthday she will beg her dad uh, and ask if she can please, 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 please have a puppy. Hello, Dewey. Are you the friend that Ada brought over? Okay, well, we're not going to we're not gonna greet you. I was hoping that Ada was going to bring over another kid. Uh, another friend for us but it's already 5 p.m so basically we need to go greet our friend and then we need a birthday cake and it's time for Tessa to have her birthday <laughs> oh my gosh this is so sad Tessa's like had to bake her own cake and everything oh my goodness okay are you gonna come inside or did we not actually greet you oh geez oh geez what a mess okay wait okay let's go and greet Ada Oh my god, I'm not prepared. Okay, I'm pretty sure Tess is a popularity sim, but I'll have to double check that. 
and Ada's going to grow up with us. So she's just going to have her birthday right outside, like right now. Check me out. I've developed titties. That's right. You have. Ta-da. Wow. Amazing. Her friend actually just aged up too. <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> okay. Cool. 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 Let's actually have a look at her again. So she is an Aries. Is Aries popularity? I forget. Let's have a look. Um, Aries is popularity. Yeah, cool. I got that right at least. Oh, I love her outerwear. Oh, that's so cute. And Lisa got promoted. Oh my gosh. How exciting. And she's in a terrible mood and she wants Tessa to get a scholarship. Okay, let's just have a look. Let's just slow this el like episode down right now. So we've been promoted to a night shift. Oh no, residency in the emergency room. This is an obviously stressful position. So make sure your home is a comforting place. You'll need fun, rest and proper meals or you won't succeed. If you work on the proper diagnoses, care for those tough cases and develop a good bedside manner, your promotion to general practitioner will come quickly. Lisa now works from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. starting immediately. Whoa and brought home 672 small ones today and a huge bonus so we need a bunch more skill points we need mechanical logic and cleaning so i'm thinking it's a good like it might be a good thing that she's actually pregnant because she's gonna have a few days off of work and she'll have some time to develop her skills and then hopefully like when she goes back to work she will be able to just uh get promoted pretty much straight away that's kind of what i'd like to see happen for her we're going to just go and play a video game as well. And now let's have a look at Tessa, who is just absolutely gorgeous. At least now that she's a teenager, we don't really have to worry about her being home alone. Oh my goodness, look how pretty Tessa Ramirez is. I love her face. She just looks so nice. Wow. Okay, cool. We want to actually play with a relative and talk to a relative. So maybe when our dad gets home, which should be any minute, we can play and talk to him. Uh, we can go ahead and dismiss Karen for now. Just be like, yeah, thanks for coming over and celebrating my birthday with me, Karen. Uh, <laughs> it was good to have someone in the house. Oh my God, Karen. You beesh. That's not cool. Get the, no, get, no, leave. Get the heck out of my face, man. Yeah, minus 10, that's right. Karen is such a jerk. Be insulted. What the hell is your problem, Karen? Get the hell out of my house. That's so rude. Okay, she goes home, which is great. He's in here having some cake. Let's come inside and let's talk to our dad. Let's maybe like just play uh, some red hands and then let's just have a chat and be like, yeah, dad, it was really um kind of upsetting that you were not home for my birthday. And he's going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry, hon. I just got caught late at the business. And, and Tess is going to interrupt and be like, dad, you always, always get caught late at the business. Like it would have been really nice if I could have had an actual birthday party for my sweet 16th you know i've just aged up and you weren't even here to see it and she goes like oh yeah i'm i'm, I'm so sorry honey um i'll make it up to you i'll make it up to you somehow and uh tess is gonna be like well you know there is one way you can make it up to me dad and he's just like oh anything honey anything and um she's gonna be like you could whoops that's not what i wanted she's gonna be like yeah like um <laughs> I heard something about Alexander Goth the other day. Uh, could you get some more information on that for me? Nah, she's literally going to ta start talking about animals. And she is going to say, Dad, you know, I've always really actually wanted a dog. And I feel like it would be fair if for my birthday present, you actually got me a pet. Um, you know, that way I'll never be alone when you and mom are like out at work. And I think it's fair. And poor Lisa actually really has to go to bed right now. So I'm just going to quickly put her in bed. And Chico's just like, I don't think he really agreed with it. But I don't think he feels like he can say no after he did completely miss his daughter's birthday party. So I think tomorrow he might uh, try to get away early from work. And oh, where is our friend also? We probably should say goodbye. Bye, Ada. Thanks for coming over and being our friend at our birthday party. She's actually a really cute Sam too. Yeah, she's so sweet. Wow. She's pretty. But I still like Tessa. I love how like distinctive Tessa Ramirez looks. Like this face is not one that you'll see 
very often in The Sims 2. Anywho, okay. We need to all go ahead and get ready for bed because everybody is super tired. So we're going to jump into bed and then tomorrow uh, Chico might try to get home early, a bit earlier from work. <laughs> Maybe. We'll have, we'll have to see how he goes with that. And he might try to take Tessa down to the Pleasant View pet store tomorrow afternoon and get themselves a doggo. Although I'm just thinking she just dis she distinctly wants a puppy. So... Can you actually buy a puppy from a pet store or is it only through adopting that you can get a puppy? Oh, no, no, I don't remember. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. That's weird. <laughs> it doesn't like her pajamas for some reason. That's fine. We're just going to ignore that. Pretend it's not happening. Love that. Okay, cool. Anyway, guys. Oh, wow. I might have to restart my game here. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. We're back in the house, no thing is purple, and Lisa has just received her first baby bump. How exciting! With the little one on the way, she's been placed on maternity leave. Now it's time to kick back and get a little rest and relaxation before the big day. Absolutely. We're going to get a cleaning skill point and a logic skill point for Shawzies. She wants to go to work, which is really sad. Oh, we actually would have had two days off anyway. Nice. We picked a good time to have a baby, apparently. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll check back in in the morning. Alrighty, so it is the morning. Little Tessa has just gotten up and done her homework from yesterday and I feel like it would be good to update the way she looks. Obviously this hair is the hair she had as a child and I think it would be nice if it had uh, grown out a bit into her teenage years. So we're gonna just do a super quick makeover with Tessa, which is gonna be fun. And then at some point we'll probably also have to take her to a clothing store to buy her some new outfits. All right, so you can see here that, like I said, Tessa is just a really striking looking Sim. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I love I love everything about how her face sort of just works. Um, but we're going to go ahead and see uh, what hairstyle we would like to give her. I'm not sure if I want to keep it short or let her grow her hair a bit. She does look pretty bomb with like short hair. But I feel like short hair is more of an adult thing and as a teenager it's all about having that long luscious hair. I don't know. Ooh, okay. I'm loving the way that this Sims 4 to 2 hair conversion is looking on her. So I think we're going to go with that. And then I'm just thinking if I want to shape her brows a bit. Yes. And then she, she honestly doesn't even need that much makeup. But we could give her some lashes. Gorgeous. And then we could give her some... Do we want to like contour? No, we don't need to contour her cheeks, but her nose. Yeah, yeah, we'll contour the nose and then we'll just do some lower lashes. And I think that'll do for her makeover. I think she looks really, really pretty. Awesome. Okay, she needs to have a bit of fun before she goes to school. So she might just come down and play some SSX. SSX. Whoops, that was hard to say. And then Chico is going to go ahead and probably just head straight off for work. He wants to get there a bit early today, make sure everything is set up and ready to go. Oh, he might actually need to just come outside. Wait up, cancel. We might need to come and trim the bushes a little bit. Oh, Wanda's outside. Oh, no, that's not Wanda. That's Joy Burke. Wow, that really looked like Wanda Tinker. <laughs> Same hair and everything. And she goes like, wow, you are a good looking lady. Anyway, so yeah, Lisa's going to be home from work today. So she is going to just be working on her skills. And then, of course, Tessa will be off at school. Hopefully having a great time with her friends. And then we will be getting a puppy uh, later this afternoon. Maybe... I don't know if Tessa will ask her mum about it. I, I think Tessa might be a bit scared of asking her mum, just scared that she's definitely just going to say, no way, not happening. I think that's why she went for her dad. I feel like Chico is a lot softer than Lisa and that, like, in terms of getting what she wants, Tessa's like, no, I, it's my dad who I can convince <laughs> to let me have things or let me get away with things. You know, like, if, if Tessa had gone up to her mum and been like, mum, I can't believe none of you were home for my birthday, Lisa probably would have just turned around and been like, while we were at work, honey, like, you know, this is why you have a nice house. This is why you have nice furniture is because we work really hard. What do you want from us kind of thing? Whereas Chico's kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really sorry. Uh, I'll make it up to you, sweetheart. I'll make it up to you. And he's just got that kind of an attitude, um, which is quite different from from Lisa. I don't know. That's just kind of how I see these two. Uh, Chico's like the big teddy bear and Lisa's like the the serious business minded lady. 
checking in here with you guys in the middle of the business day to let you know that I've made a decision that we're going to try to hire another employee for this lot. I've got uh, Archie still working on restocking and I've got Chester working on his sales today. And basically, I would like to be able to promote Chester or one of our Sims to management soon so that Chico doesn't have to be at the business every single day. So I'm thinking we should try to get someone else to work the cash register for us. And it's just a question of who we would like to hire. I mean, we could go for someone who has no skills. Paintball attendant? What job is that? I didn't even know that was a job. <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to see if I can find someone... Yeah, just to be our new sort of... Oh, this person's perfect. Elizabeth NG. Mm. 15 bucks per hour. We're going to hire this sim and we're going to assign her to be our new cashier lady. So we're going to, whoops, summon Elizabeth. And then she is going to take over working the cash register for us um, throughout the day so that Chester can work on improving his sales. I'm pretty sure... Oh, he's actually underpaid right now. Oh, we need to fix that. Okay, I'll fix that real quick. Um, but I'm pretty sure we should be able to promote him to management like real soon. Um, let's change his wage. Let's uh, assign Elizabeth to be cashier. Wait, we might just we might just have to we might just have to ring up this guy right here while Elizabeth gets here. Oh, she is she a teenager? Damn it! I keep accidentally hiring teenagers for my business. Maybe we'll make it so he's only allowed to call her in during the afternoon or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, change wage. Where'd you go? Come back here, my darling. Underpaid. No, no, no. We don't want that. Fairly paid. Yes, please. Love that. Oh, someone just lost a... Oh, man. Okay, you know what's going to be a good idea? is going to be if we grab a second cash register so that people have two options for checking out. Especially while Elizabeth is just learning how to use the cash register. Because otherwise we're going to have more and more of this kind of thing happening with people giving up on waiting in line and that's not what we want. Holy smokes, my dudes, we just reached business rank level nine. Oh my goodness. We're going to go ahead and keep going up this wholesale discount tree because I want Chico to be able to get furniture for super duper cheap. And then Elizabeth just got a bronze cash register badge, which is very exciting. It has actually just hit 3 p.m. So I think we're going to go ahead and actually close up the business for today. He's closing early today. He made his daughter a promise that he was going to come home and actually like <laughs> actually be with her. So we're going to go ahead. Oh, are all my employees leaving? Uh oh. I'd rather them not leave because I'd rather them continue to restock. Uh, Chester, are you still hanging around? Can you do some restocking, buddy? Uh, Chester, restock? Maybe? Yeah, we'll just give Archie a hand to get everything restocked for the night. Okay, I need you, Chica, I need you to, okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, everybody's lining up at Chico's register because they're like, he's faster. Adrian seems like he's glitched right now also. Uh, is everything fully restocked? Oh gosh, the close of the business day is always such a, such a mess. <laughs> We're just going to send those two home. He really seems stuck. Uh, I might have to reset this guy. Okay, are we ringing up the customers? Come on, it's already 4pm. We wanted to be home by now. Seriously. Okay, we might as well just send Elizabeth home. She's not doing anything right now. Jeez. Okay, pretty good day though. We had a good, yeah, really good day actually. We made 3,600 simoleons today. So we're going to go ahead. Let's drive home. Tomorrow when we come to the lot, we'll have to uh, neaten it up a bit. And I, then I would like to reinvest some of the money back into the business. I want to make over this little area. This dining set leaves a little to be desired. It's a bit cheap. So we're going to uh, do over that and have some nicer stuff for sale. Okay guys, so we're back home with Lisa who's just finishing up her breakfast and putting away the leftovers from the oatmeal that she made. She wants to gain all of her skill points to get her next promotion. So she is going to have a super quiet, super relaxed day here at home, just being pregnant and learning stuff. Uh, it's probably going to take her quite a while to get the skills that she needs. So I'm just going to let her do her thing. I'm going to keep an eye on her needs. Uh, we only have $220 paying bills. That is awesome. We are really killing it financially with this family at the moment. Like I'm thinking a um a makeover of the house uh, could be in order soon, especially with a new baby on the way. Actually, I might do that. 
might do that tomorrow. I'm thinking that we could easily extend over into this part of the house. We could just like create more of a hallway here, move this bathroom over or just add another bedroom somehow. I don't know. Obviously also this room could become a bedroom, but I mean, this house is kind of funny looking and I feel like it would be nice to just turn this into like rooms. I don't know. <laughs> could be good, but I think, yeah, we're definitely going to spend some money creating some extra space in the house for the new Bambino. I'm actually really, really hoping for a little boy uh, so that Chico can have a son just because I feel like that is the kind of dude he is. He would want to have a son to train up in the business to be able to pass it on to him like after after some time after he's no longer wanting to run the business of course the other option would be to sell their business but that would be a bit sad wouldn't it <laughs> I don't know uh, but yeah so hopefully hopefully we have a little boy if we do have a little girl though that is fine too of course I love a little girl the last time I was playing through Pleasant View which obviously was before I was doing YouTube uh, they had a second daughter and I named her Rosa Rosa Ramirez so if we have a daughter I'll probably do that again oh my god Tessa brought home Ruth everybody's favorite random townie teenager I love this guy I love this guy so much okay and Florence is on our front porch of course let's just go ahead and use the toilet uh, oh did you go upstairs actually well, you can use the toilet upstairs then and Lisa uh, sorry Tessa of course is going to be waiting very impatiently for her dad to get home so that he can get her her promised puppy we're just gonna have to go ahead and answer the phone I think is there a phone upstairs yeah because mama's busy mama's busy making food she's really hungry her needs are quite low oh god she burned it you know she burned the butter chicken oh that's devastating but butter chicken doesn't taste very good <laughs> okay so it seems like Rufus has just wanted to chill on the swing set outside so we're gonna go and chill with him just because I think that will be fun oh dear oh Lisa you tried honey Lisa burns a lot of food though like I remember at the start of the last episode she set the whole kitchen on fire yet that doesn't look tasty that doesn't look tasty at all. It looks like just a pile of black mush. Oh God. Well, it'll give her a little bit of hunger fulfillment and then she'll need to go to bed. Also, I forgot to mention this in the last episode, but I actually redid my pregnancy length mod. Um, there's a really great tutorial online. I can't remember who it's by, but uh, basically it just teaches you how to, there's like a, a mod template and it teaches you how to adjust your pregnancy span so I now have the pregnancies lasting for exactly two days whereas previously it was lasting for about a day and a half and I just felt that was a bit too short uh, it just didn't quite give me enough time to enjoy the sim being pregnant so I went ahead and I changed that Woo! we got 558 simoleons nice and the phone is ringing again oh we've got baby bump number two everything's going on hello okay go back to bed sweetie let's um yeah let's let's see if we can be friends with rufus and she wants to buy a cell phone as well so that would be a cool thing for her to own absolutely yeah let's answer the phone no she's dying in bed okay are you stuck rufus uh-oh are you actually stuck right now my dude really it's okay man I, I got you i got you friend there you go <laughs> I definitely feel like she's gonna she's gonna want to go on a bit of a shopping trip could be good Chigo is finally home at 5 p.m. today instead of 6 p.m. so that's nice it always takes him an hour like after the business shuts to actually like clean up and then another hour to actually get home like he's just a workaholic and there's not much he can do but he's gonna come over he's gonna give his daughter a friendly hug um, and then he is going to go ahead and see if we can adopt a puppy for our lovely 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 16 year old daughter Tessa who I don't think will ever let him forget it if he does not buy her a puppy <laughs> okay so pet adoption service And again, I would go to the pet store, but I don't think you can actually get puppies from the pet store. Uh, we're going to want a big dog, I think. We could get Benny, friendly, lazy, doofus. Mm. We could get Max, who is a genius, independent. That's a pretty good spread of traits. And that's just like, right, let's get Max. There we go. Yes, please amazing so now because he didn't give her a hug before we're gonna go ahead and give her a hug now give her a family kiss and just let her know that we have 
got a puppy coming and we're going to encourage her. What is her personality? Oh, it's pretty balanced, actually. We're going to encourage her to be uh, outgoing. Sorry, I just got an email. So you might have heard a little notifi notification sound. Okay. Um, do we want to keep his name as Max? I mean, I would like to make it Rufus, but that might be a bit awkward with the fact that we've got real life Rufus. <laughs> Um, let's call him, let's call him Ninja. Because <laughs> I think that would be fun. Okay. Amazing. So are you going outside? Yes, you're going outside to get the puppy. Excellent. And you're going to eat this brown lump of burnt butter chicken. Ugh. Okay, Lisa needs to do some cleaning around the house because she wants to get a cleaning skill point. And I always like to have my Sims actually clean if their house needs cleaning. Um, I just think it turns out quite nicely. So we're just gonna go ahead, uh oh, and clean up everything. Chica's have, everyone's having issues with this table. I might have to move it. I don't know, man. This doesn't seem to work very well. Okay, we're going outside. Where's the puppy? Where's the puppy? Hello, darling. Oh, now she wants to be friends with Rufus. Okay, well, let's lock that. Oh, hello, little ninja. Oh, what a cutie. You gotta love a puppy dog, guys. Okay, we're gonna need to get some stuff for Ninja, of course. Yep, okay, let's go ahead. And where are we gonna put everything for this dog? That's a good question. I feel like uh, Lisa would only be okay with this if he were mostly an outside dog. So we're probably gonna get him this lovely dog house for the backyard. And then we might get him a pillow as well or a basket to go in Tessa's room so he can sleep inside if he wants and then we're gonna get him just the cheap dog bowl and we'll put that somewhere I'm actually kind of thinking of getting rid of this table yeah I think I will we're gonna get a dog bowl here and then I would like to just eventually extend the kitchen a bit I think that'll be nice. And then he's going to need a bone to chew on. So we'll put that out here. And that should be about it, I think. Yay! Okay. Where are you, my darling? Yay, we have a new puppy. Okay, let's go ahead and bring him inside because he won't actually be able to... Oh, he won't actually be able to use the stairs while he's a puppy, will he? Oh, dear. Okay, well, we might have to move his little basket downstairs just for now, just while he's a baby. Uh, where can we put this? Maybe behind the couch? That could be nice. Or, oh, I've got a better idea. Let's move the orientation of that bookcase. And then, yeah, like that. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's set him down. And then let's go ahead and fill the bowl. There we go. And then what is Rufus doing? Where is he? Ah, oh, he's on the toilet. Let's go ahead and have a gossip and a chat with Rufus because I think that is a nice idea. Lisa is still cleaning. How's she going in terms of her skill point? Let's find out. Oh, she still has a long way to go. That's fine. Let's go ahead and serve some dinner. Let's see if we can actually cook something and not burn it. Let's just go for spaghetti. <laughs> How's your relationship? You're at 36. Okay. Let's tell him a joke. Let's admire him. And then I kind of want to like check him out a bit. Just for fun. Chico is playing the piano. Uh, he actually needs to freshen up in the bathroom. So he might come upstairs and just use the toilet and take a quick shower while his wifey cooks dinner for the family. Which is super nice. And then tomorrow morning we'll be having the baby. Which is exciting. Okay, stop chatting. Do some fun things. 54, why aren't we friends yet? And what's the puppy doing? I don't remember to keep an eye on this. Oh, that was... Oh my god, Lisa Ramirez! What the hell is wrong with you, woman? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Why do you... Why do you always set everything on fire? Why? 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 Thank you, fireman. Sorry that you always have to come to my house and rescue us. Jesus. Okay, we need to come and praise him for being in the pet bed. 
we might actually uh we might actually say goodbye to rufus it's kind of late and the mum just set the kitchen on fire i think it's time for you to go yeah let's praise him for being in the pet bed now we've got burnt spaghetti for dinner yay god my mum, my actual real life mum went through a phase where she burnt basically every single meal uh when i was a teenager and that was when my older sister was just like i'm just gonna take over doing the cooking from now on <laughs> poor thing but yeah we're gonna um what are you doing cutie oh we should bring his bone inside too so he has that to play with yeah there we go uh, but yeah, after that point, my sister decided that she was going to cook for the family, which was very nice of her. We all appreciated it. Poor mum. She tried hard. Okay. Are you not going to sit down to eat? Oh, jeez. All right, guys. I'm just going to go ahead, take care of their needs, get them all to bed, and then I'll check back in with you guys in the morning when we should be having the new baby Ramirez. Sometimes being a puppy mama means sleeping downstairs with the dog so you can let him out to pee during the night. It's true. I've been there, Tessa. I've been there. Oh, look at him thinking about her. He's like, I love you so much, you my human. Alrighty, it is morning. Everybody is eating breakfast. And Lisa's actually, yeah, the whole family's just talking about the new baby who should be born any minute now. I imagine it'll be very, very close to 8 a.m. Uh, because that was when they got pregnant two days ago. Which is very exciting. Little Max is just asleep in his basket in the living room. He is a cutie patootie. He's got five days of being a puppy, so we're going to get to enjoy that. <laughs> Puppies are kind of hard to take care of. Not going to lie. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the baby. Ooh. My impression of a sim. I thought it was pretty good. Bye. These two are just so chill. They're just like, oh, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> There's one new baby on the way. Up oh, there's a window. We love a good window. <laughs> a wall. Cool. And another plum bomb. Yay. So it's got fair skin, brown eyes, looks like black hair maybe, and it's a girl. Okay, so we're going with Rosa, Rosa Ramirez uh, 2.0, <laughs> I guess, because yes, I've already got a Rosa Ramirez in another one of my saves. But how cute, how wonderful, poor Chico's going to have to be like, well done, honey, good job having a baby, and then um, he's going to go to work. So, you know, that's fun. <laughs> uh, we're going to send him off to the fine furniture store. Oh, you're still stuck? I tried moving this table a little bit, you guys. There's something just wrong with it. Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, come here, Chico. Come outside. By the way, you can move Sims with the move objects on cheat. I don't know if you guys were aware of that, but that's how I do that. Uh, you just got to be a bit careful that you don't put them somewhere super duper weird. Okay, let's maybe, should we give, oh no, we have no food in the fridge. Can we still feed the baby? Feed Bottle to Rosa? I don't even know if we can. Let's find out. Yes, we can. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a time lapse of renovating this house momentarily.
Okay guys, so I finished doing my mini makeover of the Ramiro's household. It's not perfect. I could have done a lot more. I could have, I was thinking about changing out the carpet because I don't really like it very much. But maybe when we do our next like major renovation, I will change that up. One thing I just wanted to test is whether or not Lisa can access both sides of this bed because I've got this thing here, which is possibly blocking this door and this thing here, which is plus possibly blocking this side of the bed. So we're just going to see if this works. Yep. Okay. So she can make that side of the bed and she can make that side of the bed. Okay, cool. We're fine. One thing about bedrooms that always bugs me is when they don't actually have enough like clothing storage in the Sims. So I always try to put in a full size wardrobe and a chest of drawers as well. But anyway, that is going to be about all that we have time for today. I know that I'm going to have a heck of a time editing down this episode as I always do. I should really just start doing more two parters, shouldn't I? But <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, another thing you guys didn't see off camera was that I took Chico to the furniture store again and played through his day, of course, because that is something that we have to do. Um, every day and we made another three and a half almost four thousand simoleons from the furniture store today so yeah that place is making bank and I'm really happy with how it's going so um yeah in the next episode with Ramirez household we'll obviously be aging up little Rosa and of course with Tessa now being a teenager we might be exploring some potential first romances for her uh, we might be exploring, yeah, getting her a boyfriend and all that sort of fun stuff, going out on dates. We also need to clean up this garden, oh my goodness. But if you guys have any thoughts or suggestions for this family, please leave them below the video. Um, I My plan is for Chico to continue to run the furniture store, but to promote a manager so he can stay home if he wants to. And then possibly one of the girls will take over if they so desire. But we're almost at business rank level 10, so that's really good. Hey, Darren Dreamer, just walking by the window. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave me a like. Um, yeah, leave me a comment if you've got any thoughts or suggestions or feedback. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love if you would hit that subscribe button. And you can be notified when my new episodes go live as well by hitting that notification bell. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you in my next episode. Bye for now.